Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're gonna to be going over some of the jobs that you can get as a Salesforce certified admin that aren't necessarily going to be Salesforce jobs. Now the reason why I wanna bring this up is because there's been a lot of new people into Salesforce in the past few years and a lot of the uh, entry level jobs just aren't able to keep up with how many new certified admins there are in the ecosystem. And that can be extremely frustrating, especially to newcomers. And so I wanted to make this video to kind of break down different jobs that you can find as a Salesforce certified admin that aren't necessarily going to be a Salesforce admin job, but do touch Salesforce so you can get that experience. There are a few things I do want to mention before we hop into this list of jobs. The first thing is going to be that it does get easier. The further up the Salesforce food chain that you go, so the more certifications that you get, the more experience that you get, it will be easier to find Salesforce jobs. This is particularly true when it comes to being a senior admin or being a consultant, being a specialty Salesforce person, possibly going into a development route, an architect route, or even a business analyst route. It does get easier with the more certifications, the more experience, the more time in the ecosystem that you do have. So I promise it's not going to always be like that forever. Another thing I want to mention is that it's just generally tough in the tech sphere right now because of different monetary policies in the US and a lot of tech companies laying off to focus on other sectors than what they focused on in the past, specifically AI. But I do promise that things will eventually even out. Things will get better, things will get easier, you'll get more experience, you'll get more certifications, hopefully, and you'll be able to find a job that you are really well suited towards. But with that caveat, I do want to say, like I've mentioned previously, that learning and continuing to grow within your Salesforce knowledge will be extremely crucial to this journey. As a personal rule, as well as just what I've noticed, if you continue to learn, continue to grow, continue to be passionate about learning Salesforce and having a career like this, you will find success. It just might take longer than people have said in the past. So there are a few things that I want to split up these jobs into. So some of these will cross over as well as I want to take a little bit of time to talk about the associate jobs that you might be able to find. So there are two main first certifications that you're going to get. Previously it was just admin and then about a year ago is when I'm filming this. In late summer fall of 2022 Salesforce released the Salesforce associate certification which kind of goes before admin to show that you are a super user. Now I get a lot of questions in my comments and in my LinkedIn DMs about um, if you can get a job with an associate certification or do I need the admin or why am I not finding a job with the admin certification or how can I leverage uh, my associate certification to get a better job and that's part of the reason why the associate certification exists. So let's talk a little bit about jobs that you can find with an associate certification. So how a lot of people use associate certification is to go from whatever job that they're currently in maybe that is aligned with your degree path that that's something that you want to move out of or if you're looking for a job that pays a little bit better associate certification can help you leverage into jobs with these titles. A sales rep who uses Salesforce. This could be really lucrative even if you aren't 100% suited to a sales job. This can be really great to understand Salesforce and hopefully go more into an admin position. Even if you don't really feel like a sales representative job or a sales job it would be very fun or you just don't like talking to people it can be really good to help you gain some more skills in Salesforce as well as some more interpersonal skills that will come in really handy when you are working full-time within Salesforce. It'll also help you understand the use case that you might see and you might want to build out for Salesforce and also how to make them better for when you are making those automations and you are building those things on Salesforce. A very similar job to this is going to be customer service or customer success that uses Salesforce. Um, a lot of times these job listings will have Salesforce in the description and so it'll be really important to check that so then you can get that Salesforce experience on your resume. Customer service is helping customers with their issues and much like the sales rep you will be able to get some Salesforce experience, understand how Salesforce is used on a user basis, and gain some valuable information about how to build out Salesforce systems and how to make them better. And finally, this one kind of crosses over on both lists from the associate certification and the admin certification, but you could look into getting a sales operations role or revenue operations role. These roles often help the sales teams with the, the different systems that they'll be using, which is Salesforce plus other systems that they might be using like HubSpot or Tableau. They also help with reporting some as well as any other administrative tasks that might burden down the sales rep from selling. These roles are really crucial to a sales rep so then they can get back to selling and operations is really great to be able to bridge maybe going from a sales rep and then to operations and then into an admin role. So now that we've talked a little bit about the associate jobs that you can look for, now let's talk about admin. 
I want to say that it is 100% okay that your first job after having the admin certification does not have admin in the title. It doesn't necessarily need to have admin in the title, but it should be working within Salesforce and getting some hands-on experience within Salesforce. So then if that admin role is what you want to have next as your goal, then you can have that experience and leverage your way into that job. So like we mentioned before, sales operations and revenue operations are a great way to do this. You'll likely be working a lot with different records, reporting and learning all those skills that are crucial to the sales process. You're gonna get more hands-on experience that will help you later on down the road when you are building stuff within Salesforce. And you might be the de facto admin if it is doing sales operations for a smaller company. Another job that you could look for as a Salesforce certified admin is doing help desk or help desk two. Now there's a little bit of a difference here. IT help desk is going to be someone who works for a company who helps kind of do customer service, but focused more on the technical aspect of it. So anytime someone at the company has questions about their IT, like their computers or software, or how to link their email, or why is this record not working? The first person they're gonna go to is the IT help desk. Now, because your IT help desk, you're gonna be touching a lot of different systems, which actually can give you a lot of really great tools that aren't just Salesforce admin focused. Yes, you'll be touching Salesforce if they use Salesforce, of course, and you'll be touching other systems and you'll be able to see what the integrations are and you'll get other hands-on experience that may come in handy down the line. This also helps you when you are working with customers to understand what the problem is, which is an essential skill that you'll need if you go into a business analyst role later on. You can also get hands-on experience with what the issues are, what the errors are that the users are experiencing and how to mitigate those, which is really great to learn from. When you have an error, you can figure out how to fix it, what the issue was, how to mitigate it in the future, and then you'll be able to take those issues and hopefully prevent them in your jobs later down the line. And finally is going to be help desk two, which this would be more of a Salesforce centered or focused role where you are still going to be IT help desk, but you're going to be that second line of defense. So after the general IT help desk person says, oh, this is a Salesforce issue, I'm gonna pass it on to the expert or the next line of defense within Salesforce, that could be you, which actually was one of my first Salesforce focused jobs. And I found it really, really awesome to gain that experience to then be able to prevent issues later on down the line and really use my investigative tools to figure out why certain errors were happening and how to mitigate them. But those are some admin or junior admin jobs that you could look for if you are a recently certified associate or recently certified admin and you're having a really tough time in this particular job market. Again, things will get easier as you learn more, but always be growing and the job market will shift with time. But with that being said, I would love to hear down in the comments what jobs that you would look for if you are a recently certified associate or admin that wasn't necessarily a Salesforce admin job or had Salesforce in the title. There are plenty of them and this was just a small compiled list of general jobs that you can look for. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.